Hello guys, today we are doing some search and destroy on rundown and I'm using the Barrett 50 cal today and honestly I hear some pretty pretty funny people butcher the word bear horribly like I hear Barrett, 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 I don't know. It's called the Barrett people and that's what I'm using today. And let me just address something really fast. Uh, I think it needs to be said now. I understand in my recent videos I've been doing a lot of bitching about Modern Warfare 2. And let me just say, tomorrow or whenever I'm doing some rant video really soon, I'm going to just talk about 10 minutes about Modern Warfare 2's flaws. And I don't even think if the game can be fixed and stuff like that. I'm going to talk about that then. And right there, I don't know how that wasn't a collateral. But anyway... I'm just going to do that one rant video tomorrow, then after that I'm really not going to bitch in my videos anymore about Modern Warfare 2, because um, I've kind of gone away from what my videos were originally about, like, I want my videos to be, um, like, informationist, or what? what's the word, um, they make you smarter about Modern Warfare 2, I can't think of the word, I know I sound stupid, but, um, I just want my gameplays to be good, I want them to help you, and I want to make you laugh, kind of, I mean, sometimes I fail at that, other times I... I passed your expectations, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, just enough about the bitching. Um, I mean, I want to keep it positive, upheld, good old face attitude. And last round, I got my UAV, and I actually died in the most pro way right here. <laughs> I know we just talked about bitching, but honestly, look at this death. Oh, look what I got killed. Oh, thermal. Oh, cold blood. Oh, with the bear at one shot. Oh, okay. Yeah, um... No bitching, no bitching, um, that was the most skilled, like, I legitimately got killed right there, that was, that was totally fair, you know, if he, if he hadn't had thermal, I'm sure he could have seen me, cause, I'm sure he's just as good without the thermal, you know, and right now we got some super fast mode, because, um, super fast mode is awesome, and only me blade is a genius for thinking of it, um, I guess I could do the girly scream, ah, or not, but when I'm playing Search and Destroy on Rundown, um, this map is very linear, and when you're defending, it is really easy to do. All you have to do is camp in this building, in this area I am right now. And here's another fail miss for a collateral for me. I don't know how I missed that again. But then I just popped down, and 350, 357 the guy, and in my opinion, probably the 357 is the best pistol in my opinion. Um, I guess you pulled out the fastest too, which is very nice. And right here, I believe, um, I pull a nice little clutch. So, um, I rush into their spawn right now, and I pop that guy. And they're all around me right now. And, um, let's see, I hop down here because there's some guy with Scrambler fucking with me, and I can't figure out where he is. So we're just kind of playing, uh, peekaboo in the bushes. And then I see him, and I just wait to line up the shot since he doesn't see me. I pop him in the back, and apparently that wasn't the right guy, because the scrambler is still screwing with my radar. And now I pop the guy for the predator, and actually what happens next is nothing. <laughs> I can't find the guy, like, I'm supposed to be defending the bombs right now, and I never find the guy, so he doesn't do anything, I don't do anything, so it's a stalemate, and we win the round. Not an exciting way to end the round that um I killed five people in, but, you know, that's still pretty good, you know. I pulled a predator out of that dirty mess. And I think right here I just want to go rush and go on my predator missile and have some fun time. And I think I got one guy, maybe two, I don't know. But, uh, definitely... On run down a map like this, like this room right here I'm camping in is a really good room to camp in. If you're going to be on offense, because, you know, on Search and Destroy, there's lots of camping involved. I'm not going to deny that, you know, watching the bomb or just finding a good building to relax in. And right here, uh, I pull a stupid move, actually. I call my Harriers, and I don't know why I called my Harriers. Um, let me think of a good reason. Uh, give me a second, because that honestly was a stupid move. I should have waited till the next round. Um, oh, I know why I called my Harriers. I'll just wing it right now. I called my Harriers so the enemy would have to be forced to go inside and then I could ninja-lishly take them out. So let's go with that, you know. So I know they're inside right now and I see that guy. I go prone because it's always safest to go prone um, because you're, I guess, the most well covered. I mean, it's better than just standing up. 
And I pop the guy, and since I'm not suppressed, I have to kind of run around. And uh, I get lucky on this guy, and shake him in the back. But sadly, the side effects of my hairs, um, distorting everyone's sound, gets me right here. Try and drop shot with a pistol, but I totally fail. But if the Harrier hadn't been up, I would have probably heard that guy and been more well prepared. But the Harrier really does serve as an effect of it has it just like mutes all sound for everyone and it makes it hard to hear. So that can be good mad. But I think I actually die a second time. Oh no, never mind. I pop a guy. But I should have really stayed right there because I think one of my teammates just killed like three people on the other team, which which is insane to do that kind of stuff. Is it this round he does it? Oh, no. Oh, wait. No. Never mind. Next round. But he pulls out a nice little beast and snaps three people across the map. And right here, I'm just... I think I'm waiting to call my UAV here. Um, I hear some guy right here, actually. Oh, no. Never mind. Wrong round. I don't know. I don't watch my gameplay enough. But definitely, um... There's a lot of better things to use. Then um, th the Magnum as a sidearm, I mean, sure it's reliable and stuff, but you could do a lot better. I mean, it's just outclassed like the SMGs. I mean, it's just for all of us old timers and like we want to pull cool elite. We want to pull off cool elite stuff with like pistols and all that, you know. I don't know how to explain it, but the Magnum and like the Intervention just have this badass feel to them. I mean, if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a comment and tell me. Because, you know, when I watch Joe Handsome, it just gets me into the mood of... Trying to use my pistol and bolt action sniper and just own some noobs, you know? And right here, we actually just, we just got, um, I tried to run over to the bomb because I heard him defusing, but it was too late. We just got ninja defused, and if you watched my wasteland video, that guy pulled a few ninja defuses too in the search and destroy where I was rushing around with the UMP. So that guy was actually quite the ninja. <laughs> But anyway, guys, this game is coming up to a, a a finish, a draw, an end, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm not a lead sniper, so I just decided to pull out the pistol and pop him. And I can see we're going to win, so I just call in the UAV. And I think I get one nice little clean headshot for the win. And I have a final score of 16-2, guys. If you guys want to rate the video, that's definitely the best thing you guys can do to help support me. A uh, final score is 16-2 using the Barretts. I had a good time, you had a good time. I'll have my rant video up tomorrow, but you don't have to watch it if you don't want to, but I definitely address a lot of things that make this game interesting. Anyway guys, later.